All right. Well, tonight's My Town takes us to two different Michigan cities for an invent that changed everything. Mm -hmm. It's a story that started 100 years ago out in California. Absolutely. Now, when you think of the best inventions of all time, a few come to mind quickly. Okay, the wheel, that was a good one. The light bulb, uh, another good one. And of course, the bacon cheeseburger. You can thank Dale Mulder for that. When was the last time you stood at a griddle and made a bacon cheeseburger? Yesterday. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm lying to you. I haven't done it in a long time. Dale is the chairman of A&W Restaurants. He opened an A&W franchise in Lansing way back in 1961. We were on the US 16 going through Lansing between Grand Rapids and Detroit. You had to go past our A&W. But they, uh, you're right, they built I-96 and had bypassed us. And that hurt. But Dale was about to unveil a secret weapon. He looked at a lonely cheeseburger and had an idea. And I thought, it absolutely better with bacon. At the time, that may not have seemed like a big deal, but it changed the fast food industry. A bacon burger became a big, big item in the restaurant business. And, and everyone else stole it from us. Everybody now has bacon on their burger. A&W is not the biggest fast food franchise in America, but it is the oldest, celebrating their 100th anniversary this June. The franchise is named for original partners Roy Allen and Frank Wright, A&W. Allen bought the secret recipe for their signature root beer from a pharmacist, and a frosty mug of suds sold for a nickel in 1919. Now that was out in California, but that brings us to the other first in Michigan. The first A&W in Michigan opened in 1937, right here in Trenton. And in the 75 years that followed, became the hub of this community. In putting this story together, I was surprised to learn how important that little restaurant was. Because it wasn't about hamburgers, it was about family and friends. Back in the day, this was where you, you hung out. People hung out in their cars, they met up here, had lunch together. I got caught up with all my friends. and. And I passed it on to my sisters. They came up through the ranks. And then my husband's family, same way. Every one of them has done a stint here. Every kid wanted a job at the A&W. We had to be 14, and we made 85 cents an hour. So it wasn't so much about the money. A lot of boyfriends and girlfriends met there. There were a lot of weddings that took place later on. It was a place to meet, and it was a social activity. Today, that same building on West Jefferson in Trenton is the Elizabeth Perk Coffee and Ice Cream Shop, where Debbie Hayes and her husband carry on that sense of community. But folks still remember. We have people come in that will still come in and try to order uh, an AW hot dog and a root beer float. Oh, and by the way, if you're still doubting Dale Mulder and Lansing, Michigan as the birthplace of the bacon cheeseburger, you're not the only skeptic. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, they can they can believe what they want, and that's okay, you know. But you know who invented I it. I know who invented it, yeah. So we'll just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs>